In this video, we're going to go through the song, To God Be the Glory. And uh, this is an interesting song. This is one of those songs that if you like to get and move a little bit, this is one of those get to move a little bit songs. We're going to go through the vocabulary on this song. And I say this at the beginning of all the vocabulary sections. It is really, 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 really important that you not learn the individual signs individually. Now I have to show them to you individually so you can see how to do them. But I want you to practice using them in sentences and phrases. Okay? Because we speak in sentences and phrases, we do not speak in individual words. Okay? We speak in phrases and, and the deaf can tell when you're speaking in sign, uh, in individual sign. You can't learn English from a dictionary. You have to read it from a book. You have to hear it. You have to see it in use. And that's what I want you to do. As you're going through the vocabulary here, I want you to take, and once you get the signs going pretty good, you feel like you're comfortable with the signs, I want you to take paper, which you can get off the website. The website has got all the lyrics on it. Put the paper down in front of you, and then look at the paper, and when it says, To God be the glory, great things he has done. Okay? Now, I want you to stop and go, To God be the glory, great things he has done. Alright? Close your eyes if you need to, but make the signs flow together. Don't allow yourself to stop and think about each sign as you're doing them. Okay. Alright. Lecture over. Uh... If you're going with the one of the other songs, you'll get to hear this lecture again. And anyway, to God be the glory. Here are the signs. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Okay? To. To is directional. And by directional, I mean it has in its makeup and in the way it's done it is obvious who the two parties are involved. Okay? To God. Okay, this is sign for two. To God, though, is to God. Because in sign language, God is up here somewhere. Anywhere up here. Okay? To God. God. is like coming out up and putting a post into a post hole. God. Okay? Be the glory to God. Be. It's a letter B coming off the chin. B. And make sure you move it kind of farther away from the chin. B. Uh, and towards Him. Okay? The glory. In sign language, you take all the little words like A and N and the, and you just ditch them. You don't need them. Okay, so we're leave out the and just say glory, glory. It's like a single little golf clap, and that you can't hear, and then a shimmering, shimmering. Okay, that's glory. Great things he hath done. Great. Okay, this is the letter G. This letter G. Make them big. Right now you have big G's, and you're going to go, hooray. Now, if something is great as in, eh, great, it's not very great. You can show how big something is and how great something is by your expression and your body movement. So, if, if, if it is, you know, great things he has done, it's great. You know, get back so you can see the magnitude of it. All right? Great. And if it's just great, it's great. Or great. However great you feel it is, put that emphasis in there. Things he has done. Things. Uh, so your mom comes into your room and she says, What are all those things on the floor? Things. Okay? Uh, you can see how that would be used, maybe. Uh, he hath done. He, in sign language, a finger is a pronoun. 
you, me, he. It is directional, which means you know who the parties are involved in the conversation or in that sign. You, I'm pointing at you. Me, I'm pointing at me. He, I'm pointing at him. Okay? Half. Now, when was the last time you used the word half in a sentence? Okay? We don't use that word anymore. It is an old word, 1800s, earlier. Okay, they haven't used this since King James was alive. So, half done, what does it mean? It means has done. Okay? It means finished doing. Half. This is the sign for half. It's kind of like, it's really a sign for finished. Um, but it's like you have just finished washing the dishes, your hands are full of suds and soap and stuff, and your sister walked by you. <laughs> Half. Uh, done. This is a sign. It's kind of two C hands, and they kind of just rock back and forth. This is a sign for done. This is a sign for doing. This is a sign for did. And there's no tense here. The tense is given by the fact that we did finished doing is what we actually sign. So loved he the world, so, okay, this is an interesting word in the English language. If I were to ask you, define the word so, S-O, how would you do that? It doesn't have a definition. Not by itself. It is an emphasis word. Okay? I loved him so much. It emphasizes how much. Okay? So loved he the world. And the way the set death would do that is their emphasis way is saying truly. Truly loved he the world. Okay? Loved. It's like holding on to your teddy bear. He, we already know, pointing up to him. The world. Leave out the world. And it's just W's. Left hand W, right hand W, right hand on top. Twiddle them, and right hand back on top again. World. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Uh, sometimes we leave out the word that. And... Uh, you know, I can't remember whether I leave it out or I don't. So we'll just put it in for right now. That. Okay? It's just a Y hand in the palm of your hand. That. Uh, so loved he the world that he gave us his son. Gave or gave. Gave is directional. If I'm going to give something to you, if you're going to give something to me, if he's going to give something to me, Gave us. It's it's a it's a pronoun, but it's more than one. So it's not just me. It's me and you. Okay, us. His. Now in sign language, pronouns have a possessive form. A possessive pronoun is an open palm instead of a finger. So yours, mine, his. Okay, to understand the direction on that. His son. In sign language, the head is divided in two. The top half of it is where all of the male signs come from. The bottom half of it is where all the female signs come from. So, for example, mom is down here. Dad is up here. Because dad is a male sign and it's at the top half of the head. Mom is a female sign and it's at the bottom half of the head. I want to do aunts and uncles. Uh, I can do that. Girls and boys. I can do that. Son is a boy baby. Is what the etymology of the sign is. And 
this is a sign for who, or who, but this is who, or who, and then who done it, who did that, who are you talking to, this is asking a question, who, alright, who yielded his life, who has not a question, he yielded, okay, so you gave us your son, who yielded, alright, so, I'm going to break the rule of pronouns here just a little bit. When you're talking about God, oftentimes you'll do this instead of this. I have no idea why, and I have no idea why I choose one over the other, other than that I've gotten into the habit by talking to deaf people. Okay? And I couldn't begin to tell you when I would use one over the other. Neither one of them are wrong. But you will see this or this when you're talking about God or Jesus. Okay. That said, who yielded or yielded? Yielded. I'm sorry. I'm back, back. Yielded. Okay. Uh, it's like, you know, stick them up. I yield. Okay. Yield. You kind of start off with S hands and just kind of, oh, kind of unfold them and come up at the same time. Who yielded his life and atonement for sin. And kick out the word. Atonement. What does atonement mean? You probably use that twice as often as you use the word half. Atonement. It means pay. Okay? Uh, he's going to pay for our sins. And so the sign for atonement is pay. I have money here, I have a P, and I'm just going to push the money off my palm at you. Pay. Okay? And atonement for sins. For. Point to your forehead, rotate your wrist. That's the only thing that's moving there. Rotating the wrist. For sin. It's an X hand. And you kind of start at your chin. You don't have to actually touch, but it's kind of up here at your chin. And you just kind of make a circle and a circle, or semicircle, semicircle, however which way you want to think of that. Curly cues, if you wish. Uh, anyway, sin. Um, who yielded his life and atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in. And it's an open palm, kind of moving to the right and becoming all the fingers together. And open the life gate. Open. This is the doors, and you're going to bring them towards you and open. The life. So you've got the life. It's just L's coming straight up. Life. Gate. just like this is the gate. Open the life gate that all may go in. That all may go in. All. All. Start with your hand, your right hand, the knuckles of your right hand in on the knuckles of your left hand. And then you just kind of twiddle your hands. I don't know how to I've struggled always with how to, how to define how this sign is done. It's just done. I just do it. But you start here and you end up right where you left off. Okay? And it can be exaggerated or small or however which way you want to do it. All. You can do all. It's just a matter of starting here and making a circular motion around it and coming back. Okay? All may go in, may, can, okay, it's two yes hands going down, may go in, now be careful on this go in, this is enter, and I would do it up here, because this is where we want to go in, the life gate is the one that leads us to heaven, 
So I would probably do the sign up here. Life date that all may go in. If, however, you do it all in front of you, may go in, make sure you have the sign high. Because if you have the sign down low, may go in. As you, just, you just said, may have a baby. Okay? Not the same thing. Alright? Keep the sign up a little bit higher. Then we have the chorus. The chorus is half this song. Learn the chorus and you got half of this done. Praise the Lord. Praise is a golf clap. It's not, no. And you probably can hear it, nobody else can. It's a golf clap. Praise the Lord. Okay? We did King before, I think. Did we? No, maybe not. Lord. Anyway, I'm just trying to get my songs running together here. Lord, L, starting at the shoulder opposite the elbow, okay, L, coming down to your hip, Lord, okay, you can do a lot with this sign, L for Lord, M for Master, K for King, Q for Queen, P for Prince or Princess, it's kind of a title, anyway, Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Let. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it wrong, but it kind of gives you the right flavor. Okay? It's kind of like six shooters. But don't you dare go six shooters at LTZ. It's let. Okay? Let. Okay? Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the, leave the word the out, uh, earth. Center finger and thumb on the top crest of your hand. Just rock back and forth a little bit. That's earth. Let the earth hear his voice. Hear his voice. Okay? Here is you put your hand up to your ear like you're hey, what were you saying? Here. His. We understand his voice. It's the letter V. And it kind of comes down, and then from the voice box comes out. Okay? Voice. Voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let all those signs we know. The people. There we go. New sign. Two Ps. It's kind of like little chickens pecking. Don't do it quickly, though. Just kind of rock them back and forth a little bit. Okay? People, rejoice. All right? Now, if you're rejoicing like this, you're not rejoicing. If your face is stone and looks like this, you're not rejoicing. If you're rejoicing, your face is going to rejoice, too. So you really ought to be smiling. Your eyebrows ought to be lifted. You ought to have joy on your face. Okay? You can't do joy. It's like me singing joy to the world. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. <laughs> There's no joy in that. you got to get into it. Okay? Praise the Lord. Okay. Oh, come to the Father. Oh, drop down, come around, and end where you started. Down and around. O, come. It's kind of like twiddling. Uh, you know, you twiddle your thumbs. You twiddle your fingers. If you're twiddling it towards you, it's like rolling it towards you. You twiddle it away from you. And it's go. This is go. Come. All right. Come to the Father. Okay. I think we did Father before, did we not? Ah, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, hey, Father. Can't remember whether he does right this song or not. I'm doing too many of these together. Father, uh, mother, and father, and in God's case, it is father. Kind of like exploding grandfather, father. Come to the father through Jesus the Son. Through you do a live long and prosper, and you. Take your hand, palm up, and you go through it. If you can't live long and prosper, 
You can do it that way too, and it'll still work. But live long and prosper is probably the better way to do it. Okay. Uh, through Jesus the Son, Jesus, obvious sign, you're pointing to the nail print in his hand. Use your center finger to touch, and that is Jesus. I have seen it done with the, with the index finger, but I believe the correct way to do it is with the center finger. Jesus, the Son, the Son. I know we've done Son before. And give him the glory, great things he has done, and give, he did give before, him the glory, great things he hath done. No, he did all of those signs before. No new signs there. All right. Great things he hath taught us. Great things. See, there's a lot of repeating signs in this one. Great things he hath taught. Take from my brain and put into your brain. Taught. Taught. Okay? Um, us. Great things he hath done. saw my open palm for possession, yours and mine, finger for individual, open palm for group, okay, and for ownership, possession, our, so just make it a little tough, we'll try to cross it up here, okay, uh, great things he's taught, great things he's done, and great our rejoicing, through Jesus, the Son, all these we know. But, take railroad crossing and come up. Kind of like a railroad crossing, where the hinge is back here somewhere. But, pure, the letter P is kind of running across the hand. Don't flick it at the end, otherwise you're paying. Pure, Er, this is the sign for ist or er, er, at the end of a word. Purer and higher and greater will be. Okay, what were the new signs in that? Pure, great, we got that one. High, that was a new sign. High, you're low here and you're high here. All right, high. and greater and higher will be our wonder. Our wonder. And it's kind of like you're in bed, you're sound asleep, and your mom comes in and throws a bucket of frozen marbles in under your sheets, and your eyes go, ah! Okay? You are Surprised, you're in awe, you're in wow, okay? Now you're in wonder. Our transport when Jesus we see. Our transport. The picture they're trying to draw here is you're going to meet him in the clouds. You're going to be surprised, you're going to go wow and flying, okay? Transport when, like a stick with a lollipop you're drawing on top, Jesus we see. Okay, that's all the vocabulary for that song. Work through the vocabulary. Get to where you get, get to where you know it. All right. Make sure that you can do it on paper in front of you, and just get through the signs. Do it in sentences and phrase phrases. When you get to the point where you need to add a little music to it, go to the next video, where we will sign it slowly, 
but you'll be able to work through some of the, you know, the body movement that goes 